Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. This dude steals a tube of 20 gold coins right from an employee's hands. And then there are some shots that have been fired during their escape. Let's explore! You heard right. This is being posted on April 1st, but there is no fooling in this story. Indeed, it did happen. As shared with me by several members of the community, this is another precious metals crime and will be added to the list of an ongoing series on this channel of precious metal crimes. A security guard fires several rounds at a robbery suspect fleeing a business in Kimberley. But before we get to that, let's talk about it from this side. First alert to news here. Uh, the man stole $43,018 in gold coins from Fox Valley Coin and Diamonds. Yes, indeed, here. And this is from uh, Kimberly, Wisconsin. A Minnesota man stole more than $43,000 worth of gold coins from Voex Fox Valley Coin and Diamonds in Kimberly earlier this week before a security guard fired shots at him as he fled the scene, according to a criminal complaint against the suspect. Travis Burrell, 37, from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, is charged uh, with party to a crime of felony retail theft of over $10,000 and possession of THC. As Action 2 News reported earlier this week, an employee said a person came into the store in a grab-and-run and got into a car, an armed security employee working at the coin and jewelry shop followed him and fired shots at the car that tried to run him over, the employee said. According to the complaint, the man identified as Burrell came into the store and laid down a wad of money, bundled up likely, probably with a rubber band, and said he wanted 20 gold coins. As a salesperson was helping him, he grabbed the tube of coins from her hands. He paused and then ran out the door. That is something you're going to see here, a uh, sort of ongoing theme here, a little bit of a pause. So he did that and then paused and then ran out the door, not just ran out. He paused a little bit. Uh, in fact, uh, thanks to witnesses and security videos, police knew they were looking for a tan and gold Chevy Trailblazer with tinted windows, uh, black wheels, and no rear license plate. The SUV was stopped in Winnebago County, and everyone inside, including a woman and her two children, were taken to the Fox Valley Metro Police Department. A little bit more details on the shooting here. The robbery, the robbery was reported shortly after 2 p.m. when officers were called to the business at 103 East Kimberly Avenue. The suspect, the 37-year-old man, entered the business and committed a theft, then fled on foot to a nearby vehicle. In fact, it was parked across the street. A uh, security guard working the, at the business chased the man on foot. And the man drove towards the security guard, and the security guard fired several rounds from a handgun at the moving vehicle, police said. The suspect wasn't struck by any of the shots fired, and the security guard wasn't hurt. The suspect was later caught by the Winnebago County Sheriff's Office near the town of Wolf River. He's in custody at the Outagami County Jail. The shots fired by the security guard are being reviewed by investigators, police said. The incident led several schools in the area to enter a soft lockdown, with students remaining in their classrooms for almost 30 minutes, uh, according to Kimberly Area School District. And uh, so there is that. Now, moving ahead here with this story on this side, the witnesses there... Um, knew the description of the vehicle, and surveillance video shows um, before they were pulled over, the trailblazer stopped outside a Buffalo Wild Wings restaurant to replace a flat tire. Sheriff's uh, deputies also found signs of a fluid leak. So it looks like the shots had done a bit of good, and and uh, you know, in in with a flat tire and put, causing some damage to the vehicles. 
Investigators say Burrell didn't offer a lot of information when he was being interviewed, but uh, did show, but didn't know things about the robber would know, uh, that only the robber would know. He later told investigators it was a friend who called Little Chubb, Little Chubb, who went into the store and stole the coins. Well, uh, looking at this guy, he looks a little bit chubby. He may be a little guy, he may be a big guy. So maybe he's Big Chubb and the other guy is Little Chubb. Who knows? Um, he said Little Chubb was driving the SUV when they arrived and when they left. Investigators say that doesn't match the witness accounts. He also said Little Chubb dropped the gold coins in the parking lot. He went on to tell investigators he and his girlfriend came into the Fox Valley from Minnesota that morning just for the day. He said he did a Google search for coin shops and was specifically looking for gold coins, uh, which he melts down so there were no serial numbers and makes the gold untraceable. Well, that's very interesting. Um, you know, for those of you who don't know, gold eagles and a tube of 20 gold coins, well, any coin that I know of doesn't have a serial number. Um, so that's kind of interesting. And that also leads me to believe that the coins were not recovered, um, which is quite interesting. So they must be hidden somewhere. Um, but that's pretty fascinating. So apparently, uh, that is what he does. He steals gold and then melts them down, thinking there's serial numbers associated with them. Now, the new gold eagles, um, and assuming it was gold eagles, I didn't say whether they were gold eagles or not, and they may have done that for security reasons. Uh, and this may lead us to potentially finding out more details about those security features. Can these coins be somehow traced um, back as being genuine with security features on them uh, that could say that, well, these are, um, I don't know. I don't know how this how this could work as far as tracing them. Uh, only the Secret Service knows that if indeed there are these three levels of security. In other words, we have an overt security feature, which is the missing re, which most of us feel is an epic failure on the Mint's part. Uh, the second level is some sort of uh, certification or um, way to be able to determine the validity of these coins using special um, materials provided to authorized uh, coin dealers or organizations or distributors of these coins uh, so that they can tell whether they're genuine. The tertiary covert security feature may involve even some of this criminal activity to be able to somehow find out um, whether these coins could have been uh, traced back through uh, a network of, of, of uh, coin dealers or distributors. In other words, if Fox Valley coin and diamond may be a part of that list, they may have gotten these to an authorized coin distributor uh, or an authorized purchaser that uh, follows that trail. And there may be some sort of marking at where these things go in the country and that could help solve crimes like this if these coins are discovered. Well, you could have only uh, gotten these from one location or an area of locations or an area of the country. And of all the burglaries or robberies that occurred in the Midwest, for an example, we know these coins are specially marked for that region. That could be a part of what this uh, level is. I'm not saying that there's a chip inside of these coins that could specifically lead to that person or individual. We know that's not the case. If it were, it would have been discovered by now. But there could have been a, some special uh, note or microscopic uh, indentation on these coins that very well could lead, kind of like what the uh, Royal Canadian Mint has with their uh, bullion DNA. Who knows? It's interesting to speculate. And again, they haven't mentioned that these were actually eagles that were stolen. And I think that is on purpose. And so apparently this guy, if he went on to tell investigators about what he and his girlfriend are doing, uh, then that means at that point he probably has, has admitted to the theft, leaving little Chubb out of it. Or maybe a little Chubb is, was included as well. And maybe he's got the smelting or the way to melt them down. Very interesting story. Uh, and thanks again to the several members of the community who uh, let me know about it. But apparently, this operation has been stopped now because of this brazen act. Just grabbing a tube full of eagles, presumably, or 20 gold coins out of an owner's hand or an employee's hand. Fascinating indeed. On this April Fool's Day, no fooling on this one. This really did happen. 
a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. And I'd like to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.